Welcome, to a new learning session. Knowledge, is money. Hotel safety, and security. Challenges, precautions, preventive measures, and damage control. Hotel security staff, in CCTV monitor room, on walkie-talkie. Front office, and guest safety and security. Security covers areas, such as protection of life, body, assets, personal belongings, valuables etc. Hotels always claim, that they cannot be held responsible, for any crisis, crime, accidents, or natural disasters, but it is their moral, social, and legal responsibility. Many risks can be minimized, by adopting simple policies, listed below. Precautions Background checks, of selected applicants Making policies, related to employees' entry to, and exit from, the workplace Spot checks of locker rooms, and lockers Effective supervision, and control during the work cycle Making policies, related to the discovery of criminal records, and wrongdoing, by employees Control of people entering and exiting the workplace. Key control. Precautions can prevent many problems. Types of security, physical aspect, security of persons, security of systems. Types of security. Physical aspect is divided into two parts, Internal and external. Internal security. Against theft, fire safety, proper lighting, safeguarding assets, track unwanted guests. External security. Proper lighting outside the building, proper fencing of the building, fencing of pool area, to avoid accidents in the night. Manning of service gates, to restrict entry. Fixing of closed-circuit TV cameras, at hotel periphery. Security check, of a car. CCTV camera, at the periphery. Lighting at the hotel's periphery, or outer wall. A well-lit hotel does not allow criminals, to hide around a hotel. Security aspects of persons. Staff. Effective recruitment and selection, identification of staff, key control, red tag system, training, locker inspection. Red tag system. In a nutshell, when a person finds an item, that they either don't know what it is, or is not needed in a process, they tag it. The red tag acts as a signal, to everyone else in the area, that someone plans to remove the item, out of the work area, in the future. This leads to a discussion about the item, and ultimately, a decision about, whether or not, the item stays, or goes. This removes tools for crimes. A sample of a red tag. Security, guests aspect. Check scanty baggage guests. Guests suspected of taking away hotel property, should be charged, according to hotel policy. Guest room security. Provide wide angle door viewer, dead bolt locks, night torch, chains on doors etc. Employees should be trained, to not give any information about in-house guests, to outsiders. While issuing a card key, ask for key card, if in doubt of the guest. Housekeeping staff should never leave keys, exposed on unattended carts, in corridors. Never say guest room number aloud. Magic eye. Fixed in doors, to see, who is on the other side of the door. Secure door locks. 
door chains, for safety. Night torch, with rechargeable battery, for emergencies, like power outage, blackout, and fire evacuation, etc. Security, definition. Protection of a person, building, organization, or country, against threats, such as crime, terror, or attacks by foreign countries, the state of feeling safe, stable, and free from fear, or anxiety. Procedures followed, or measures taken, to ensure, the security of a state, or, an organization. Hotel Security, Responsibility Security department has the overall responsibility. But, everyone has to support them. Hotels can be taken to court by the guests, seeking large sums of money, as compensation for medical bills, lost wages, rehabilitation costs, psychological trauma, pain, and suffering, and more, for any act of negligence, oversight, or harm. Home away from home? Any negligence can result in hotel and motel guests becoming the victims of battery, strong arm robbery, sexual assault, rape, or even murder. Hotel security staff. Internal employees. Contracted. Hotel prefers to hire ex army, ex paramilitary, and ex police as security staff and officers. Main tasks of security staff include Patrolling, monitoring surveillance equipment, room key security, fire safety system, emergency evacuation, emergency communication, coordinating with police, tackle vandalism, terror attack, bomb threat, robbery, theft, drunken guest, violence etc. Setting up a system, and, emergency procedures. Security measures taken. CCTV surveillance with recording. House telephone audio recording. Lighting of public areas. Fencing, or, boundary wall. Guards at entry and exit points. Independent security audit, to test the effectiveness of system, and identify weak spots. Security audits. Independent security audits, are a good idea for businesses, and homeowners, because the property security is important. If you want, to keep your family or business safe, you need to understand, which parts of your premises, are most vulnerable to a security breach, or attack. Role, of front office staff. Be the eyes, and ears of system. Report, record suspicious, red flag behavior. Spot potential troublemakers. Prevent any breach of security system. Act with confidence and authority in difficult situations. Never disclose guest identity and room number to strangers. Report any threat immediately before it is too late. Security and control of key. Metal key. Ask the guest to deposit room key when going out of the hotel. Replace lock if key is lost, or stolen. Hand over key to a guest, after confirming the identity proof. Electronic card key. Change key code immediately, if key is lost. What is safety in the workplace? Describes policies and procedures in place, to ensure the safety, and health of employees, within a workplace. Involves hazard identification, and control, according to government standards, and, ongoing safety training, and education for employees. Understanding hazard. Harm, physical injury, or damage to health. Hazard, a potential source of harm, to a worker. What types of hazards are there? A common way to classify hazards is by category biological, bacteria, viruses, insects, plants, birds, animals, and humans, etc., chemical, 
depends on the physical, chemical, and toxic properties of the chemical. Ergonomic, repetitive movements, improper setup of workstation, etc. Hazard types Physical, radiation, magnetic fields, pressure extremes, high pressure or vacuum, noise, etc. Psychosocial, stress, violence, etc. Safety, slipping, tripping hazards, inappropriate machine guarding, equipment malfunctions, or breakdowns. Fire safety. Major potential hazard, with high probability of occurrence. Possible causes of fire are, cigarette, electrical short circuit, kitchen fats and oils, boilers, preventive, and damage control measures. Smoke detectors, fire alarm, ceiling water sprinkler, fire blankets, fire hose reels, signage, instructions, and first aid kits. Preventive and damage control measures. Routine inspection and maintenance of wiring, equipment. Fire drills, mock drills. Fire extinguishers, fire exits, with battery lit signs. Evacuation, and assembly point. Fire alarm. Signage, to show the way. Fire alarm, switch. Fire triangle. Knowing fire triangle. The triangle illustrates the three elements a fire needs to ignite, heat, fuel, and an oxidizing agent, usually oxygen. A fire naturally occurs when the three elements are present and combined in the right mixture, meaning that fire is actually an event, rather than a thing. Extinguishing fire. Starving. Removing fuel. Cooling. Removing heat. Smothering. Removing oxygen. Procedure, in case of fire. Alert security, and front office. Don't panic. Warn others. Sound fire alarm. Don't risk anyone's life. Call fire brigade. Use fire extinguisher, only if trained. Close doors and windows. Turn off electricity and gas supply. Types of fire. A. Free burning materials, paper, wood, plastics. B. Flammable liquids, petrol, diesel. Solvents C. Electrical short circuit D. Metals, potassium, sodium, magnesium etc. E. Flammable gases, LPG, CNG, methane, hydrogen etc. F. Cooking fats, and oils Type A extinguisher Type, A, B, C, and E. Type B, and C. Type F. Extinguishing metal fire. A Class D, dry chemical fire extinguisher, should be used, if available, or else the fire should be covered with sand, or magnesium foundry flux. 
An easy way to put out small metal fires is, to place a polythene bag, filled with dry sand, on top of the fire. Types of keys, and custodians. Emergency, or, Grand Master Key. Opens all doors, including double lock. General Manager is responsible. Master Key, opens all doors, but not double lock. Executive housekeeper is responsible. Guest room service key. Opens one room. Housekeeping assistant must sign on key register, before taking the key, and return at shift end. Signee is responsible. Accident, definition. An unfortunate incident, that happens unexpectedly, and unintentionally, typically resulting in damage, or injury. The two most frequent types of accidents are, slips, trips and falls. Manual handling injuries. Reasons, for accident. Excess of hurry, to do things. Carelessness. Anxiety, worry, fear, dislike for work. Distraction and absent-mindedness. Negligence, to follow safety rules. Frequent accident areas. Stairs. Balconies. Landings, a level area, at the top of a staircase, or between one flight of stairs, and another. Ramps. Car park. Bathtubs, and showers. Lobby floor. Kitchen. Landing area. Landing area, is shown here. Ramp, is shown here. Measures, to prevent accident. Handrails. Guardrails. Non-slippery surface. Sufficient landing area. Obstruction-free path. Monitor staff's health and behavior. Proper lighting. Caution signage. Wet, slippery etc. Protective gear, and uniform. Accident form. However careful you try to be, it is inevitable that, some unfortunate, or unforeseen events will occur. All accidents must be documented, and reported. Why, accident form is necessary. To find areas with frequent accidents, providing first aid correctly, calling ambulance timely, quick assessment of loss, damage, and injury. What is first aid? Help given to a sick or injured person, until full medical treatment is available. First aid kit, is a small box, containing items, such as bandages, plasters, and antiseptic wipes, for use, in giving help to a sick, or injured person, until full medical treatment is available. First aid box, items. Plasters, in a variety of different sizes, and shapes. Small, medium, and large sterile gauze dressings. At least two sterile eye dressings, triangular bandages, crepe rolled bandages, safety pins, disposable sterile gloves, tweezers, scissors, alcohol-free cleansing wipes, sticky tape, thermometer, preferably digital. First aid box, items. Skin rash cream, such as hydrocortisone, or calendula. Cream, or spray, to relieve insect bites, and stings. Antiseptic cream. Painkillers, such as paracetamol, or Infant paracetamol for children, aspirin, not to be given to children under 16, or ibuprofen. First aid items. Cough medicine. Antihistamine tablets. Distilled water, for cleaning wounds. Eye wash, an eye bath. It may also be useful to keep a basic first aid manual, or instruction booklet, with your first aid kit. First aid, for common mishaps.
shock. Symptoms, fainting, vomiting, sweaty skin, pale, white face. First aid, make victim lie down, cover with blanket, to keep warm. Images, to show, victims of shock. Cuts. Symptoms, bleeding. First aid, stop bleeding, by pressing firmly against cut. Wash with antiseptic lotion. Cover with dressing. Call emergency, if bleeding continues. Dial toll-free number 102, Ambulance Call Center in Bihar. First aid for common mishaps. Nose bleeding. Symptoms, profuse bleeding from nose. First aid, make patient sit, head bent forward. Loosen clothing. Pinch nostrils shut, for 5 minutes, to stop bleeding. Call emergency, if bleeding continues. To stop a bleeding nose. First aid, for common mishaps. Fainting, sudden collapse, after standing in a hot, poorly ventilated area, for a long time. Symptoms, excess sweating, giddiness, whiteness. First aid, make victim lie down, feet raised up. Upon regaining consciousness, take out in fresh air. Check for injuries and damages, for other help. A victim, has fainted. First aid, for common mishaps. Bone fracture. Symptoms, strong pain, sudden huge swelling. First aid, relieve pressure on fracture point. Don't try to realign bone. Call emergency. Stop bleeding, if any. Apply ice pack on swelling. If fainted, and having difficulty in breathing, make victim lie down, with head lower than body, and legs raised up. A plaster, used to immobilize the fractured bone, helps in healing of the broken bone. First aid, for common mishaps, burns and scalds, burn caused by dry heat source, and scald, by wet. Symptoms, burn sign, and acute pain. First aid, rinse burn skin with cool water, until the pain stops. Rinsing will usually stop the pain in 15 to 30 minutes. Do not use ice, or ice water, which can cause tissue damage. Take off any jewelry, rings, or clothing that could be in the way, or that would become too tight, if the skin swells. First aid, for common mishaps. Muscle sprain, and strain, a sprain is a stretch, or tear, in a ligament. Ligaments are bands of fibrous tissues, that connect bones to bones, at joints. A strain is also a stretch or tear, but it happens in a muscle, or a tendon. Tendons link muscles, to the bones. The difference, between sprain, and strain. Strain and sprain. Symptoms. Pain and inflammation, and sometimes bruising, at the injured area. Depending on how bad the sprain, or strain is, the pain may be mild, moderate, or severe. 
First aid. RICE treatment. Rest, apply ice pack, compress the swelling, with crepe bandage, and, elevate the injured part above heart level, to stop buildup of fluids. Common chemical, and biological hazards in hotels. Respiratory, dermal, skin related, and carcinogenic, cancer causing, hazards from chemicals in cleaning products. Molds, and microbial contaminants. Infectious agents. Common hazardous substances, in the workplace include. Acids, caustic substances, disinfectants, glues, heavy metals, including mercury, lead, cadmium and aluminium. Paint, pesticides, petroleum products, and solvents. Look for these, on packing. Hazard pictograms. Signal words, such as danger, and warning, hazard statements, such as, fatal, if swallowed. Precautionary statements, such as, wear protective gloves. Pictograms. Samples. Use these. Personal protective equipment, PPE, is clothing and equipment, worn by employees, students, contractors, or visitors, to protect, or shield their bodies, from workplace hazards. Categories of personal protective equipment. Respiratory protection, for example, disposable, cartridge, airline, half or full face. Eye protection, for example, spectacles, goggles, shields, visors. Hearing protection, for example, earmuffs, and plugs. Hand protection, for example, gloves and barrier creams. Foot protection, for example, shoes, boots. Head protection, for example, helmets, caps, hoods hats etc. Personal protective equipment. Working from heights, for example, harness and fall arrest devices. Skin protection, for example, hats, sunburn cream, long-sleeved clothes. Other personal protective equipment. Other personal protective equipment, this may include PPE for specific tasks, such as disposable clothing for working with chemicals, radiation hazards, welding, painting. Examples include, lead aprons for x-ray protection, sleeve protectors, aprons, coveralls, when using chemicals, leather jackets, trousers and spats for welding, thermal and cold protective clothing, for work near furnaces, and cool rooms. Personal protective equipment, Samples Handling emergency situations Terror attack Bomb threat Robbery Theft Drunken guest Death of guest Natural disasters Workplace violence Terror attack Precautions Respect all, suspect all Install CCTV, metal detectors X-ray baggage scanners Sniffer dogs Body frisking Sandbank embankment Permanent paramilitary deployment Modern arms and ammunition Regular, 
random police checks. Strict employee background check. Monitor use of hotel computers. Metal detectors, at entrance. X-ray baggage scanners. Sniffer dogs. Body frisking. Bomb threat over telephone. Inform police and follow instructions. Listen, without interrupting. Try to find details of bomb, place, time, color, motive, identity. Give police the exact version of call. Inform hotel authority. Don't spread rumors. Don't handle the bomb. Evacuate the area. Complete bomb threat form. Caller profile, bomb threat. Concentrate on following, to assist police investigation, caller's voice, accent, mannerism, age, sex, background sounds, if, audible. Armed robbery. Large amount of cash with cashier, jewelry, and precious stones in guest possession, attract robbers, to target hotels. Preventive measures, encourage guests to use safety lockers. Transfer cash out of public zones, to safe zones regularly. How to handle robbery attack. Quickly obey the order. No sudden movement, or robbers might fire. Do not talk, unless asked by robbers. Do not confront or combat. Try switching secret alarm in cash drawer but extremely carefully. Observe robbers, without being obvious, or noticed. Robbers description. Height, build, eye color, hair color, mannerism, complexion, clothes, scar marks, to help police recognize, any identification mark, or sign. Notice the following. Direction of escape, type of vehicle, color etc., registration number, observe these precautions, do not touch anything. Fingerprints. Fill crime report form, with the help of all witnesses. Handling drunken guests. If the guest is not causing any issues, ignore, but monitor for any signs of trouble. If causing issues, isolate to secluded, or back area, as soon as possible. Do not touch the guest. Try sending to room, or hand over to any accompanying friend, or family. If becomes unruly, ask security, to take charge of the situation. Death of guest, within hotel. Seal the area, till police arrives. Do not touch anything. Evidences, fingerprints etc., inform authority immediately. Call hotel doctor immediately. Call police. Do not disturb other guests. Call family, company, or friends. Violent guests. Remove from hotel, as soon as possible. If they are armed, police must be brought in. Security measures, for women travelers. Mirrored walls of the guest room floor elevators so that lady can see who is walking behind her. Well-lit public areas, such as lobby bars. Valid parking services, to avoid the need of a woman to enter deserted parking lot. Assigning rooms, closer to the elevator. For quick escape, if she senses any danger. Security measures, for women travelers. If a woman traveler is not assigned a room, on the special executive floor, hotels most often, on request, 
upgrade her accommodation to that floor without an increase in room rate. The floor is staffed almost 24 hours a day with a concierge for assistance. Compilation and presentation by Praveen Jot, Senior Faculty, IHM Hajipur, Vaishali, Bihar.